Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank Representative Ruggiero for honing on, in on the issue. Uh, what's going on is that the PUC has determined that a developer of industrial scale solar facilities should have to pay for the interconnection cost to get its power through the national grid system. That is currently on appeal in the Rhode Island Supreme Court from the developer who said, no, we shouldn't be forced to pay for the interconnection system. All ratepayers, rather, should pay to connect our solar site to the system. So what this bill is going to do, and Representative Ruggiero honed in on the right language, the transmission system upgrades will no longer be the responsibility of the for-profit developer. The transmission system upgrades to connect these systems to the grid are going to be the responsibility of all of our ratepayers because they're going to charge National Grid and National Grid is then going to pass those costs on to us. That's what's going on here. My understanding is it's about $20 million to build a new substation for the developments that are going on from Hopkinton to North Kingstown. When someone wants to clear cut a forest to put in an industrial scale solar system and they no longer now have to pay for the millions of dollars in transmission system upgrades, they're now going to be buying more forest, cutting down those forests in rural areas because the biggest expense in rural areas really isn't the land, it's building the transmission system to get that power to our network. So every time National Grid goes in for a rate increase and the PUC says yes, I see a lot of tweets, I see a lot of Facebook posts about how awful it is, but that's what this is going to do. I understand there is merit. I think there should be strict time limits on the PUC having to comply with applications, but we should not be passing the costs on to all ratepayers for the transmission upgrades that are necessary for these large for-profit developers to clear cut forests and put in industrial scale solar facilities. Our constituents should not be paying for that. The for-profit developers should. So that's what this bill does. That's the insidious part of it. There's some things in here I, I definitely agree with. Reporting, analysis, ombudsman, let's put strict timetables on how the PUC has to act and when they should act. But the passing to ratepayers our constituents of the transmission costs so a for-profit developer can put in more industrial scale wind farms, uh, wind farms or solar farms where forests used to be is not appropriate. It should be the responsibility of the developer to pay for that, not our constituents. And that's what this is doing. The PUC decided, the PUC made a decision that the, our constituents should not pay for those transmission costs. They decided that all those costs should be borne by the for-profit developer. The for-profit developer said, PUC, you're wrong. They're up in the Supreme Court. I think the PUC is right under the existing statute. We are now changing that statute to put the burden on our people. It's wrong. I can't support this.